Hello and welcome to Just Board, the show about computers, microcontrollers, and more. Today we'll take a look at the Olamex Olinuxino Lime 2. The Lime 2 is an open source single board computer that runs an all winner A20. This is a 32-bit dual core processor that clocks in at 1 gigahertz, and the integrated GPU is a Mali 400. For memory, the board contains 1 gigabyte of DDR3 SD RAM. And for persistent storage, here's where things get interesting. Like most single board computers, the Lime 2 has a micro SD slot, but you also have the option to add on board storage in the form of either a NAND flash module or an eMMC module. The sizes for those options range between 4 and 16 gigabytes. But what's really interesting is that the Lime 2 also has a native SATA port, which means you can connect an actual hard drive to the board. There are also two USB 2.0 ports, which you could connect additional storage to as well well as peripherals and one USB on the go port. The network support on this board comes in the form of a gigabit ethernet port. Yay! The board can be powered by providing five volts to this barrel plug or by attaching a lithium battery to this connector. There are three buttons on the board, power, reset, and recovery. For media, there's a full HDMI port that can handle both video and audio output. Plus, there are a ton of media options in the GPIO pins. Speaking of GPIO pins, whole Holy crap. This board has 183 pins on it. Normally, this is the point in the video where I would do a really meticulous pinout with little colorful dots, but this would take forever. So instead, I'll just say that this one is a UART device. This one is mostly for LCD screen connections. This one has multiple options for audio, video, input, and output. And the remaining three have a combination of general purpose I.O. pins, as well as some special purpose options. Olamex provides much more detail on each pin in their documentation and schematics, so I'll link to those in the description. But basically, there's no shortage of pins, to say the least. As far as operating systems go, the best two supported ones seem to be Debian Linux and Android, both of which are as easy as flashing the image to an SD card and booting from that. So what's it for? This board is an amazing example of an open source product. You can run your open source programs on top of Debian Linux, which is an open source operating system, running on this open source hardware, which releases their schematic in KiCad, which is open source CAD software. So you've got multiple layers of transparency and multiple opportunities for peer review, as well as the ability to customize everything and adapt it to your own purposes. Aside from all of that, the combination of gigabit ethernet and native SATA make this a really great choice for home NAS devices, as well as lightweight web servers. So what isn't it for? I probably wouldn't recommend this board to beginners. This is definitely something that will require some Linux skills to get the most out of. Not that you couldn't just run Android on it and call it a day, but there are better boards for that, and this board has way more potential for other applications. With the exception of the UART header, the GPIO pins on this board are more tightly packed together than most single board computers, which is great because they fit a bunch of them in a small space, but not so great if you're trying to use standard female jumper wires like these. You'll need a 0.05 inch female connector to interface with these pins. Luckily, those are pretty cheap and Olamex even sells some on their website. Well, that's the Olamex Olinuxino Lime 2. Go to the comments below and let me know what board you'd like to see covered next. Or let me know what types of projects you'd like to see built using the Lime 2. And click through to the video on the left if you'd like to see this board in action.